Back on Earth, China is losing trust in Pakistan. Beijing has made a big demand from Islamabad. It wants a Chinese security company to guard Chinese interests in Pakistan. And guess what? Pakistan has rejected China's demand. Well, stranger things have happened. Let's tell you about a new report. It says China is worried about the safety of its citizens and assets in Pakistan. They're increasingly coming under attack. Ten Chinese citizens were killed in Dasu last year. These were construction workers. They were traveling on a bus. The bus was attacked with a bomb. Pakistan paid more than $11 million as compensation to these Chinese victims. This year, there was another attack. Chinese instructors at a Confucius Institute in Karachi were targeted. Three Chinese officials died. The rest was, uh, were asked to return home. Beijing told them to go back home. Then Chinese officials made a demand. They said Chinese security companies should be allowed to set up base in Pakistan. But the Pakistan government has refused. Reports say China has made this request at least twice. And on both occasions, Islamabad has said no. But China is still expected to pursue this. It has already hired a local company in Pakistan on its payroll. This is a company of security consultants, a Pakistani company that the Chinese have hired. They advise China on security matters. There are at least 7,000 Chinese citizens working in Pakistan. They're given four layers of protection. The first layer is that of the Pakistani military, the military personnel. The second layer is of the Pakistani security force. Layer three is private security. Layer four is security guards. Now, usually, these are retired Pakistani soldiers. They're hired by Chinese firms in Pakistan. That's how much security they need. And even with these four layers of protection, Beijing is not satisfied. It wants to replace this entire system with Chinese security. Now, China has more than 5,000 private security companies, 5,000. Out of these, 20 operate internationally. Any of these could go to Pakistan to protect Chinese interests. That's what Beijing wants. Pakistan has been resisting, but experts say it's only a matter of time before they give in. And this will be a huge embarrassment for the Pakistani military. Remember, they had taken charge of protecting Chinese nationals and assets. 15,000 soldiers of the Pakistan army were deployed for this purpose, to protect the Chinese. It seems they failed in their mission. China wants them replaced with its own security personnel. In fact, Beijing could insist on Chinese security when Islamabad makes the next request for loans. Recently, Pakistan got another loan from China. We told you about it. A consortium of Chinese banks gave $2.3 billion to Pakistan or are giving this money, $2.3 billion. And this will not be Pakistan's last loan. They will need more money. They're already waiting for a bailout from the International Monetary Fund or the IMF. And Pakistan has declared today that it has reached a deal with the IMF. It expects $2 billion to arrive from the IMF. But when will this money come? And that's not clear. Because the fact is that Pakistan still needs to do a lot more to get that bailout. The IMF has laid down clear and tough conditions. Today, it delivered a set of targets to Islamabad. These are economic and fiscal targets. Pakistan must achieve these targets to get a bailout. It will be subjected to two more reviews after that. It must clear those reviews. Only then will it qualify for a bailout from the IMF. And even when the bailout comes, Pakistan's troubles will not be over. It would still need to raise more money to shore up its reserves. And that's where China comes in. It could help Pakistan yet again. But Chinese assistance, we know, comes with strings attached. It could mean more compromises on Pakistan's sovereignty. China is executing a strategy that was pioneered by the East India Company. You may remember, they came on the pretext of trade but they ended up colonizing almost the entire Indian subcontinent. They had their own security forces. China is doing the same in Pakistan. It launched CPEC, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, saying that they want to promote trade. But then they went on to build a virtual colony in Gwadar by building a port and installing cameras all around it. And now China wants to bring Chinese companies to guard its citizens and assets. Pakistan was already a vassal state of China. The entry of Chinese security companies would complete China's takeover of Pakistan. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.